Hello amazing leaders and welcome to day six of the 90 day challenge. How are you getting on? Almost at the end of week one. So well done if you've started already and that you're doing something and if you're following along still trying to work out what it is you want to do then that's fine as well. Uh, but maybe this one, maybe this uh, message today is the day that you actually start something because the title of this one is Try Something New. So have a think. When was the first? Well, sorry. When was the last time that you did something for the first time? So when was the last time you tried something new? And I think as we get older, maybe that time period gets longer. When we're younger, most things are new to us, and we're trying new things all the time. Whether that's at school, whether that's at college, um, or whether we're branching out into the world on our own. So it's harder sometimes to try new things, or maybe that's just the message we tell ourselves but have a think about it when was the last time that you tried something for the first time what was it what made you do it was there a, a health reason for it was there a work reason for it was it a family thing a friendship thing often we try things new with other people which is fantastic um, but what was it that made you do it why did you start doing something new and, and how did you feel when you started? Often it's that first <clears throat> initial first day of doing something new that is the hardest. And that's why these 90 day challenges are so good because if you can commit to doing something, then it gives you an option to try something new every 90 days. And maybe it's multiple things. I know that there's a few out there doing different things over these 90 day challenges. So as I said to you before, <clears throat> one of them uh, that we were doing is a, is a family challenge. Uh, one of that was to walk the dog more often, which we've done. Uh, and then one of them was to play a game, a family game, uh, once a week as well. So it don't have to be something you do every day, um, but it's nice to get into some, some good habits. So last night we had our dinner, and then around the table at the end of the day, we played what we call the hat game. And the hat game is where we all get little pieces of paper um, say half a dozen or so each and we write down a name of a famous person or a family member somebody that we all know around the table uh, might be a cartoon character whatever it might be and you write those names down secretly so no one else can see you fold them up and put them into a hat um, or a bowl and then you pull one out at random and you take it in turns and then the first round is you have a sentence one sentence to describe that person on the piece of paper and whoever guesses first gets that little piece of paper and then the next person has a go and it just goes round. so there's no time limit on it and then um, at the end of that first round you add up how many pieces of papers you've got and if you've got the most then you're the winner of that round then all of those names get folded back up and go back into the hat or into the bowl and you then pull one out at random again, go round to each person at a time, and you have just one word to be able to describe that person on that piece of paper. And then again, you add up who got the most, and then that's the winner of the second round. And then the last round is you can't use any words, you have to use actions and act out that person, and that's where it can get really funny. So we did that last night. Now that game costs nothing, piece of paper and some pencils, and you just write down uh, some people that you know and some famous people's names. And we had a fantastic time, you know, tears rolling down our face with laughter because it was such a good thing to do. And again, that's what I wanted to do out of these 90 day challenges was to involve the family more, to get other people inspired. That's a game you can play with children and with adults, uh, and it can get really funny. So I'd encourage you to have a go at that as well. Now back to this topic here of trying something new. That thing that you may have thought of, are you still doing it? Is it something that you've carried on with or did you stop doing it? And maybe why? Was it too difficult? Was there too many other things going on? Did you not have a support group around you? Um, lots of different reasons why we might stop doing something. But if you've carried on with something, are you still doing it now? Is it something you might need to pick back up and do a bit more of or more regularly? Um, but whatever it might have been, just, just have a think about it. Why are you still doing it or why did you stop doing it? Now we're all human, so we've all done things and we've started things and stopped them and we've started things and carried on as well. So just, just check in with yourself as to why that might be. Um, and would you like to try something new again? 
this whole 90 day challenge and if you're on day six with me and listening either on the podcast or listening and watching back through the YouTube videos or the Facebooks, uh, Instagram stories, whatever it might be, wherever you're at in your own 90 day challenge, you hopefully have started something new. What is it about starting something new? Many of us make New Year's resolutions every January the 1st and there's a great statistic about how many days it is until most people stop doing those things but we're amazing leaders here. We're not the average and we want to be able to continue those new things that we've planned out. So I'd encourage you, make a list. Write down all the things you'd like to do, all the things you wanted to do. Don't worry about the costs or the time or anything else. Just make a list, as many ideas as you can. Maybe that's the start of something that you can do today. <clears throat> and then go through that list. Think what really inspires you from that list. What would you love to do? What can you do with the money and the time commitments that you can contribute towards that? And commit to a start date. It doesn't have to be today, depending on what day you're listening to this. It could be on Monday or it could be on a Saturday. Whenever you want to start, it might be today that you want to go for it and just make a start. So whatever it might be, commit to a start date and write that down next to the item that you've made on your list. And you can make other start dates next to other items if you want to as well, so that As the 90 days goes on, you either add in more things or the next 90 days from now, you can add in another one to start. So your mind starts getting used to that as well. And lastly, my top tip for you is to tell others. Be accountable for the new thing you're starting. And that may be the hardest thing that you have to do is to to confide in somebody else. But if you tell other people, this is what I'm doing, it gives you more of a accountable nature that is going to keep you going and keep you doing what you're going to do and if you can get others to come along on that journey with you so that you both can experience it together you can create memories and have a fun time doing something new with other people as well so i hope that's been helpful i hope you'll have an amazing day and remember why be average when you can be amazing